Additional Implant Planning Tips, Visibility and Preferences. You will find the Visibility Control section at the bottom of the Control Panel in the Implant tab. This section allows you to control what you see in the rendering window throughout your implant planning. A common problem that people encounter is not being able to see structures like the inferior alveolar nerves or recently placed restorations. This problem is quickly fixed by going to Visibility and checking the items you wish to see in the rendering window. Likewise, you can uncheck items you do not want to see in the rendering window. Keep in mind that items such as sleeves, wax-ups, mandibular and maxillary models will not be available unless you have received and loaded a surgical guide case. The check sleeve tool will also be unavailable unless you load a case with a digital stone model from our surgical guide service. Any unavailable items will be grayed out in the visibility options. To set your preferred implant view settings, click on the gear icon on the toolbar. Here you can specify whether you want collision warnings to appear as you plan the case. You can choose a number of millimeters to be your allowance, or allow the distance between two objects. If the distance between two objects is smaller than the allowance, a collision warning will appear in the form of a blue sphere near the place of collision. 3 millimeters is the recommended amount of allowance between adjacent implants. You can also choose which rendering method will be used every time you work on the implant tab by choosing from the drop down menu. Default will use the rendering range selected under File, Preference, Volume Render. Performance will lower the quality of the image to increase the frame rate. Choosing quality will improve the rendering but will decrease the frame rate. You can also change the colors for abutments, restorations, and surroundings. Clicking on Detailed Implant Settings will allow you to choose the default implant you wish to use for each tooth. Just click on the tooth's information to activate the menu and choose from the options. Click OK to save your changes. Clicking on Preferred Implant Settings will allow you to edit the implant library that shows up in the control panel. To delete a particular kind of implant from a preferred list, click on the implants you wish to delete and click on the left pointing arrow. To add implants to your preferred list, first select from the manufacturer menu, then choose from the implants in the select product list and click the right pointing arrow. Now when you go to the implant library on the control panel, you will see the changes you made reflected in the drop-down menus. To change what items get clipped when you enable clipping in the control panel, go to the Clipping Preference portion of the View Preferences. Check any items that you want to be clipped and uncheck any items you do not wish to clip. Click OK to save all of your changes. This concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.